Hello and welcome to my Vintage Audiophile channel. This is now my 69th video. Today I'm going to be reviewing um, a bookshelf system that was put out by Denon. They didn't put out many uh, bookshelf systems, but uh, most of the ones they did were in the 90s. This one happens to be the D80 bookshelf system, which en encompasses a, uh, a receiver a six disc um, CD changer and a dual cassette deck. Um, which makes this special is that it has really good sound and all the bass you can handle, um, which is something you don't normally find on too many of the normal um, shelf systems. And uh, without further ado, I will turn it on so that you can listen to the tuner. up on the plane as well but it gives you that extra you know so um just one so you can see it does have a lot of uh um bass to it would actually sound better if I had the speakers farther apart, but for sake of demonstration and able to, being able to get them all in in the uh, video here, I uh, put them very close together. Plus, above the speakers, I've got something else hooked up to it that I needed kind of uh, speakers to act as a shelf, and I will I will review that later. Um, like I say, uh, it has a lot of bass on it right now. Um, I actually have the Denon speakers, but the bass is so um, prevalent on this particular um, bookshelf that it actually blew the blew the woofers on the uh, on the Denon speakers. I have to get those repaired, so that's why I have the Sony's hooked up to it, which I know. Uh, are able to handle that kind of bass power. And um, the bass on this here, we have a bass and treble over here. The treble's turned up all the way. The bass is turned flat. Um, if I turn up the bass all the way, uh, it becomes almost too much bass. Plus it also has a bass boost, which makes it almost the bass sound like a subwoofer. And this does have... Um, a surround sound feature feature on it. It's it's a rudimentary sound, surround sound. It's not your fancy ones like you see in today's receivers, but it does have um, three other hookups on the back. Uh, one is a uh, a mono for 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 actual subwoofer if you wanted to add one to it, plus uh, two surround speakers. And um, the only caveat is that unlike the main speaker plug-ins on here, they are RCA plugs, and it's harder to find um, speakers these days with RCA plugs in them to, to hook up to a stereo system. That's one of the reasons why I don't have it hooked up right now, and I could have bought the um, speakers as an add-on uh, when I bought it, but I didn't because at that time I wasn't into surround sound. That was kind of early on in the surround sound era. For me, it wasn't until the 2000s or later that I actually got more into surround sound. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I did. Although if you do push the surround sound, it does 
make the main speakers kind of sound a little bit more surround soundy, if if that's a word. Um, maybe I'll try that in, when I'm further demonstrating that just to show you. But, and as you can see, it does have these two things here, which look like those smiley faces. But those are actually uh, um, indicators that there's a cassette in each cassette deck. Um, I'm going to turn the volume down here for a moment, which it is, and put to the next function, which is the tape function. And it says D1 right now, which means that it is a cassette one that is highlighted. I will put on the play. Cassette 2. As you can see, those work also, which is good because uh, I still do play cassettes. And on the um, next function here, we have CD. And so I will put on a little bit of the CD to show you that that works also and, and it sounds really good. And... So as you can see, that does work too. Um, actually, the surround and the, um, the DBS sounds best on the uh, uh, CD because it has the best sound quality. And um, now I, there is one other function on here I'm going to show you. That's an auxiliary function. It has a pair of RCAs in the back to hook up something auxiliary. And for this demonstration, I chose to put a uh, turntable to it. This is the turntable I reviewed in one of my previous reviews, the Crosley C62. Um, it is has a line or phono jack on the or uh, switch on the back to allow you to um, play it either through speakers uh, that are hooked up to it or if it's in line, it, it plays uh, through the uh, RCA jacks to whatever you're hooked up to. And I'm going to uh, turn that on for a moment here to let you see that that works. And that's uh, one of the nice things about having a more modern turntable because it allows you to hook up a... Uh, a phonograph to this, which in the past you could have done if you had an outboard um, preamp, but because the preamp is built into this, 
that eliminates that step. And I will play a little bit of this particular track here. I'm happy with the new love that she's found. Record, so that's why it doesn't sound the greatest. Um, like I say, uh, you can put the surround on it and that makes it sound a little bit better. So for those who don't have shelf systems and are looking for one and are kind of of the opinion that shelf systems don't have much base um, you might want to look into this den and they are out there uh, they're not very numerous but they are out there I think the people who have them don't get rid of them and uh, for good reason they, they sound really good I don't know exactly how much wattage is on this here because I lost my instruction manual long ago, but it turns up pretty loud, so it wouldn't surprise me if it's rated at a 30 to 50 watts a channel. And it works just fine. Um, hopefully you like this demonstration. And if you do, uh, please leave a comment or please uh, leave a like for this particular video. And uh, let me turn this off for a moment here. And if uh, you do, then I would very much appreciate it. And until next time, please stay safe. Please be good. And I will see you in my 70th video. Thank you. Good night.